Welcome back to Road Atlanta and Brazelton, Georgia. Dean Copeland's seventh car coming in on the rollback. You never like to see that. Field under caution. Before we get back to a green, let's get it downstairs. Derek Bernasiglio standing by with Jeff Mosing, another first-time starter in the series whose day was all too short. Well, Jeff Mosing in the race now for autism number 31, parked at the beginning of the race. Tough break for you, not the way you wanted to start out the first race of the MX-5 Cup season. No, um, you know, everybody was followed up pretty good going into five, and uh, one of the, you know, top guys looked like they looped it, and then some other cars were trying to avoid it, and before I knew it, I had one parked sideways in front of me. So uh, pretty exciting, but not the way I wanted the race to, to start for sure. Well, guys, it's an unfortunate situation for the number 31, but he'll be back for Mazda Raceway. Yeah, that was a tough situation for him. You know, you, sometimes you just have no place you can go, yeah. and then you end up caught up in something that you had nothing to do with. Mosing plenty dejected for good reason. He tore up that race car pretty thoroughly. This guy is anything but dejected. Mark Miller from Holland, Michigan. He's been the Team MER engineer in this series the last couple of years. This season, he gets a chance to race the race car, and he's already into the top five in that Mazda Owners Club entry. And before the start today, Derek had a chance to talk to Mark about some of the changes in the race car for the new year. Rick, you may have noticed that the cars look just a little bit different this year. And with me is engineer turned driver Mark Miller. And Mark, what are some of the new body changes for the 2009 season? Mazda's come out with some new body work changes that have actually in, uh, decreased the coefficient of drag. One of them is the new front bumper cover, incorporating the new grille and headlights. We also get a nice, nice brake duct to keep the brakes cool. But they also changed the bodywork around the sides and rear. We've got a new rocker panel, which helps the air flow over the rear tire a little bit better. And the bumper is a little bit more extended with new brake lights that extend out a little bit further, hopefully to get us down the back straightaway a little bit faster this year. Well, the cars may look a little bit different for the 2009 season, but it's still the same great racing. You know, I don't think that uh, it makes any difference to the guys in one way. All the cars get the same stuff, so it doesn't change the racing, but it is a better car they're running with now. Yeah, anytime the aerodynamics are better on the car, it makes it a little easier to drive. Air Malkasian will have the restart poll when we continue at Road Atlanta. We'll be back to racing at Road Atlanta. Welcome back to Road Atlanta and Brazelton, Georgia. The midi weekend, the season opener for the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. With Elliot Forbes Robinson, I'm Rick Benjamin, Derek Pernasiglio on pit road. First of 10 races this year. The schedule has grown. The field is strong. We're ready for a restart with Aramal Cajun on the pole. Yeah, it's good with Mark Jenkins right behind him. I think that it's uh, a really good show we're going to have here because, you know, we've got teammates uh, behind teammates, and I think everybody's going to sit here and try and work together just a little. Mark Miller also in the mix, but here comes Jenkins to the inside. He's made that move before. He takes second away from Lionel Kent, the first-time starter, and there's Miller making it three wide up the hill. Oh, they rub on each other. Yeah, it gets tight up at the top of the hill, and it, uh, it, you have to go single file through there. All of that allows Malkasian to open up about an eight car length advantage now. The action behind, there's Jenkins in the Traxxas car, the white, black, and red machine, and then Lionel Kent in third. Looks like they lost a little bit to Malkasian at that time because uh, with their rubbing and everything they were doing up at the top. You know, they gotta be careful in that turn five. You think the guys would learn. I have actually never been out that far on that corner. I've never <laughs> had a car that would do it. But you know, I've, you know, I've never seen it launch a car like that. That is uh, really an amazing thing to put three cars out today with that. Good move to the inside there. Mark Miller in the 28 picks off a position, gets around Lionel Kent. He's under attack now from one of his Alara teammates back a little further in the field. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're getting a little bit of a change up there. And, you know, we're going to see some interesting things as this goes on because some of these guys have not done much of this drafting and how important it is in these cars. And like you're seeing him pull out of line, when is the right time to pull out of line? Sometimes you end up going backwards. We just saw 
Justin Piscatel in the blue trim to Lara car. They'll make it three wide down the hill. That's Piscatel trying to get fourth. And on the inside, the red car, Rick Mackey from Alpharetta, Georgia, side by side with young Piscatel. Yeah, but didn't hold it going up the hill. And Piscatel's doing a good job. And, and this, for new guys, it is tough to uh, get this close racing like this. Now, Piscatel has run in the uh, Miatas before and done some close racing. But uh, this is so much different when you get to the high caliber you have in the uh, MX-5 Cup. Aaron Malkasian, the team principal for Team Alara, winless in this series last year, 2008. Won all eight races without a victory. He won this race, though, two years ago. Up the hill, out of turn one, Rick Mackey trying to find room to get by. Meantime, pressure being applied now on the race leader. Yeah, it looks like uh, Mark's trying to get by there. And, you know, they're... The, uh, the problem is up the top of the hill, it's tough. You can make moves and keep the guy watching his mirror, but really, you might as well wait to the straight, then you can just kind of drive by. Top three starting to pull away, but Marquezian's got his hands full. Mark Jenkins in the Traxxas 25 car in second. Mark Miller in the Mazda Owners Club 28 in third. And then a little gap back, you've got Lionel Kent, the pole sitter, and stepping out of line, here comes Jenkins gunning for the lead. Boy, he just, he's nervous, Man. he wants to get there. And uh, he's working it hard. But sometimes, you know, for me, I always thought that if you waited till on the straight, because once you get out on the straight with somebody right behind you, you're kind of a sitting duck, and it's nice to uh, wait till the straight go by, and maybe then you can hold it at the end of the straight. Mark Jenkins is your new leader in the 25. A guy stepping out of line all over the place. And Elliot, is that a product of the situation we've got with 22 drivers in the field, only seven with previous experience here, and some guys maybe don't know how to play this game at this point? Well, I think that is uh, part of the truth. They just know they get a draft and they want to be uh, pulling out. And here's your uh, pass for the lead again, where uh, Jenkins goes from one side, drops to the other side, and then drives down deep into turn six and makes the pass. Didn't really have any help there from Mark Miller. Kind of broke the draft on his own to get the lead. Well, he did, and and Mark is going to uh, wait for it. And you know, it's it's. I think taking your time here, there's a lot of time left in the race, and it's positioning yourself for the end of the race is the most important thing now. These Mazda MX-5 Cup events are 45 minutes of timed action, so never exactly sure what the lap count should be. We expect to run around 24, 25 laps today. The ball goes well, and the leader, Mark Jenkins, starting to open it up now. Nine laps complete. Top of your screen, our running order showing where your favorite driver runs. Top four starting to open up a gap now in the Traxxas entry of Jenkins with about a three-car length advantage over Aaron Malkay. And look at Justin Piscatel. You know, he was actually, they had almost a second group there, and he's bridged the gap, and he's right on this front group now, so that there's four of them running strong. The S is here at Road Atlanta, the red play of beautiful Northeast Georgia. It's a legendary racetrack, a lot of dirt on the speedway there. That's where we had that incident earlier today that brought out the full course yellow. A couple of cars involved hitting that inside barrier going across the racetrack and some of that dirt still on the surface now coming to the corner the right hander at the head of the back stretch and the leader is jenkins it looks like everybody's closed up again you know the, the thing that also happens here is, is that the more cars you have up front i think it leaves a bigger hole in the air if you have one car up there it isn't quite the same size hole top five are nose to tail mark jenkins the leader malkasian miller and piscatel the top four